It's a pleasure to have you join me on this virtual journey. Welcome. Hello, fellow enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of John Hams. John Hams is the founder and managing partner of Hams Company. He was formerly managing partner of Milwaukee's Trammell Crow Real Estate Company. In July 2015, Hams was named co-chair of Scott Walker's presidential fundraising campaign. Brace yourselves for the next chapter, where we'll be dissecting early life and education. Hams was born and raised in South Racine, Wisconsin. He was the third of seven children. His grandfather, who moved to Racine around 1900, built the Hams Tavern in 1928. Hams' father, Don, operated the tavern and served as the Booster Club president at Washington Park High School, from which Hams and all of his siblings graduated. Hams earned his Master of Science degree in real estate and urban land economics from the University of Wisconsin-Madison in 1974. He studied under James Groskamp, who helped establish real estate as an academic discipline. Hams also earned a Bachelor of Business Administration degree from the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. Brace yourself for an in-depth analysis as we navigate through career and its far-reaching implications. Hams started his career with the Trammell Crow Company in 1974 and credits Trammell Crow as a career mentor. In 1987, he succeeded Alan Hamilton as Midwest Regional Partner after previously serving as a Great Lakes Regional Partner. While serving in this role, he was involved in the Milwaukee Center Development Project. Hans was also a member of the company's management board. In 1991, Hans left Trammell Crow to form Hans Company, a real estate firm that soon specialized in healthcare facilities and related developments. He told the Milwaukee Business Journal that the healthcare sector represented a substantial percentage of gross national product at the time, and it made sense to allocate resources there. Under Ham's leadership, the company recruited medical industry specialists and optimized their operations to more effectively compete for healthcare buildings. In 2001, Ham's launched the investment arm of Ham's company that became Ham's Partners. Hams has also been personally involved with his company's construction of sports facilities, including the renovation of Lambeau Field in Green Bay and the development of the U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. Hams continues to serve as chairman and CEO of Hams Company. Moving forward, we'll be taking a closer look at board service. Hams serves on numerous boards associated with the Milwaukee community and the state of Wisconsin, including Junior Achievement of Wisconsin Emeritus Member, Market University Board of Trustees since 2014, the Medical College of Wisconsin since 2000, Teach for America Milwaukee, the University of Wisconsin Foundation, Greater Milwaukee Committee, the Milwaukee Metropolitan Association of Commerce, the Milwaukee World Festival which produces the annual Summerfest Music Festival, Wycob Inc., the Badger Institute, and the YMCA of Metropolitan Milwaukee. He also serves on the board of the American Enterprise Institute. As we enter this new phase, let's navigate the complexities of Heartland and discover its practical applications. In 1996, Wisconsin Governor Tommy Thompson appointed Hams to be chairman of the State of Wisconsin Investment Board. In September 2000, the Investment Board purchased $8.30 million worth of distressed bonds from Heartland Advisors, a Milwaukee-based firm where Hams served as an independent director. While Hams referred the State Board's staff to Heartland officials, he recused himself from the consideration process for the investment because of a conflict of interest. Hams' involvement in Heartland's recommendation resulted in criticism from the co-chairman of the State Legislature's Joint Audit Committee, Gary George. In October 2000, the funds in which the state invested lost a combined $62 million in value. A report by the Wisconsin State Auditor issued in November 2001 did not find any evidence that Hams had influenced the investment decision. In September 2002, the State of Wisconsin Investment Board was able to sell back the portfolio of distressed bonds to Heartland for the original purchase price, plus an additional $2.93 million. 
as per the terms of the original bond sale agreement. In December 2003, the SEC issued a consent order requiring Hetland's independent directors, including Hams, to cease and desist violating securities laws, which they agreed to without admitting or denying any wrongdoing. As we progress, let's zoom in on sports ownership and examine its role in shaping our overall narrative. Hams is part of the Milwaukee Bucks ownership group. He is also an owner of the Lakeshore Chinooks, a Mequon, Wisconsin-based baseball team in the Northwoods League. In 2015, Hams and members of his family purchased a golf course known as the Bog in Sorkville, Wisconsin through Milwaukee B and East Partners ILLC an affiliate of Ham's company. As we venture forward, let's take a closer look at personal life and its impact on our understanding. Ham's and his wife, Anne, have four children and 13 grandchildren. He is a member of Marquette University's President's Society. In 1995, Ham's donated $250,000 to construct the Ham's Field at Mount Pleasant, Wisconsin's Jerome I. Case High School. The field commemorates his father for his long-time support of youth sports through the YMCA. In 2007, Hams and 12 other Wisconsin School of Business alumni donated $85 million to the school to support its educational mandate and preserve its name. The gift represented the largest single donation ever given to the University of Wisconsin-Madison. In 2012, Hams was recognized by the University of Wisconsin-Madison for his outstanding entrepreneurial achievement and received the Wisconsin Real Estate Alumni Association's Wisconsin Award at the Wisconsin Biennial Real Estate Conference. He is also a recipient of the Association's Distinguished Alumnus Award. In 2015, John and Emma were presented with Honorary Doctor of Humanities degrees from the Medical College of Wisconsin. In 2020, they donated $2 million to the Marquette University and Medical College of Wisconsin Department of Biomedical Engineering, which was the largest donation to date to the joint department. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update from my channel.